A servant of God, I am Robert Simon. Beloved in Christ, loving greetings. It was in the evening before Jesus was betrayed. It was in the upper room. Jesus was telling his disciples about the betrayal, about his sufferings, his crucifixions. The hearts of the disciples were troubled. Darkness shrouded them. It was then that Jesus told them in John 14, 1, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Let not your heart be troubled. So when there is faith, our hearts need, need our heart need not be troubled. Let not our hearts be troubled. Here we read, believe in God, believe also in me. But Albert Baines, a great Bible commentator, he puts it like this. It should be read in the imperative, believe on God and believe on me. Believe on God and believe on me. And Adam Clark, another great Bible commentator says, It is best to read both the verbs in the imperative mood. It is not believe in. It is best to read both the verbs in the imperative mood. What does it mean? Place your confidence in God, not believe in God. Place your confidence in God and in me as a mediator between God and man and expect the utmost support from God but expect it all through me. So let not your heart be troubled. Expect the utmost support from God but expect it all through me. And Matthew Henry throws more light on this. Build with confidence upon the great acknowledged principles of natural religion that there is God and He is most holy, wise, powerful and good. That He is the governor of the world and has the sovereign disposal of all events and believe on my mediation. This is what Matthew Henry says. So what do we read in this passage? It is not just believing in God. It is not just believing in Jesus. Believe what God can do and believe what Jesus will be doing. So if you read that whole chapter in that upper room, Jesus was giving a number of promises which could reveal the attributes of God and the role of Jesus. In verse 2 Jesus says, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, please listen, I will once again, I will come again, I will come again, and receive you unto myself. I will receive you unto myself. That where I am, that you may be also. In verses 13 and 14, he says, Whatsoever you ask in my name, I will do it. I will do it. So I will be the mediator. I will ask the Father. Let not your heart be troubled. In verse 16, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe on what I could do. Believe on what God can do. It is not just believing in the existence of God, or believing Jesus the Son of God. It is having confidence what they could do for us. Verse 18, I will not leave you comfortless. 
I will come to you. In verse 21, I will love you. I will manifest myself to you. So believe on what I could do for you. Believe on what God can do for you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth. Give I unto you. Verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth. Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. So here we see the attributes of that wise God and the mediation of Jesus Christ. Therefore, believe on God and believe on Jesus. We, God willing, shall meet in my next talk. Till then, God bless you. God be with you. I am yours, Robert Simon.